Hey everybody, welcome back to the Metal, Metal Mill 52 workshop. It's hard to do a short video about a project that you've been excited about for a long time, but bear with me, I'm going to try to do a proper project introduction video and cover several significant things and resources for you. As you may have guessed from the last video that I published, um, the this is the manually, numerically con, uh, machined uh, corn vertical column and obviously this is kind of the kickoff for the my next big project which is building the corn tool and cutter grinder. I do have some experience with um, tool and cutting well with sharpening end mills I should just say. Years and years ago I built this thing it's called the mini tinker and I got plans from a gentleman named Guy Latard, L-A-U-T-A-R-D, out of Canada. I believe he still has the, makes the plans available. And this is a great little machine for, it, you can build it all out of bar stock, so nothing's complicated. And it's a great machine for sharpening the bottoms of end mills. And you can do, you can see the about an inch and a half or two inches of actual travel for machining the spirals but it's a little tricky um, you rock the bottom of the end mill into the grinding wheel and you can advance it with this there's a screw inside this that moves the bottom bottom housing so it's a neat piece of gear I would highly recommend it if all you want to do is be able to touch up the bottom of end mills that the mini tinker is great and it's a great way to get started with the whole idea of grinding your um, end mills. So uh, let me go over the resources and this will bear with me this is going to take a few minutes this is a project I've been thinking about for a long time and I've got a lot to share so I hope it's enjoyable to you but the corn tool and cutter grinder book by Professor D.H. Chaddock this is still available by from a lot of sources you can get it on eBay, and you can get it from uh, the U.S. supplier. I know that Gary Martin he sells these, so that is a significant resource to have. Speaking of Gary Martin, I just spoke with him this morning, and I ordered a set of prints. As you can see, the there's prints, and they're they're readable inside the or drawings, I should say, measured measured drawings for the castings, machining, and so forth. In the book, and they're they're readable, but I I wanted a he he has a set of large, you know, full size basically like blueprint drawings that he said they're they're measured, they've got notes on them and so forth, and it, I think that would be useful. So I kind of went ahead and I ordered those this morning, and I'm very pleased. To get, uh, I will be pleased to get that. I was pleased to have Gary call me back, and we had a great discussion. So, I'll talk about him in a second, and I guess I'll finish by showing the castings here. So, let me put things out of the way. Go. Over, let me go over the resources. There's the corn book, which I just showed. There's an article by a guy named Ron Chernich. He has a web article. If you look, modelenginenews.org. He also had a book, a article on the pillar tool, and uh, the one that's on the corn. Both of them are great and very well written, kind of entertaining to read. The Mac Daddy website for building the corn, Tom, I guess it's pronounced Blau, he has produced this fantastic website. He built a corn. He's got everything documented on there. He's even got drawings that you can download. So Tom, thank you so much for all the work that you did. I will be trying to copy a lot of your ideas for machining setups really really neat especially he goes into a lot of detail because he uses these um, cotters brass cotters instead of splitting the castings he uses those throughout and he does a great job describing that another good website there's a guy named Duncan um, Duncan amps metal projects something like that if you look up Duncan amps corn build you'll see it he also did a pillar tool, and very uh, again, his is not quite as extensive as Tom Blouse, but it's very good, and it's a, a fun resource to look at. A YouTube channel that I've mentioned before, that uh, Maddie's Workshop, 
definitely check this out if you're looking at building a corn because he has basically finished one. He it looks like he was given a base and he's done a ton of finishing work and it's documented how he did it. He built the spindle and a lot of the moving parts. So Maddie's workshop. Thank you, Maddie, for everything you've done. There's a corn group that's groups.io. It used to be a Yahoo group. It's very useful. If anybody is watching this and is one of the moderators, if you could allow me to post, um, the moderators have to approve you as a poster. I've been a member there for probably 15 years, but um, I've tried to post a couple of uh, postings and they haven't showed up yet. So please approve me. My Metal Mill 52 there as well. MartinModel.com. Okay, I mentioned him. Gary Martin. He makes, uh, it's the business is Martin Model and Patterns. He makes castings or he has makes patterns and has castings made. He's the U.S. supplier for everything corn. His his castings that you buy are phenomenal. The If you, if you don't believe me, go back and look at some of the uh, initial videos I did of the pillar tool and you'll see what kind of beautiful quality the material is. So Gary, thank you so much. I spoke with Gary this morning. I uh, bought some drawings and a um, 5C R8 large tool holder that I'm going to machine, which I'll talk more about later. But very nice guy. Um, very highly recommend Gary Martin at martinmodeling.com. The UK supplier is Hemingway Kits. And the Australian supplier is hobbymechanics.com.au. And I've actually traded emails with the proprietor there at Hobby Mechanics, and he seems like a very, very nice guy. So, um, again, recommend those folks. I'm sure Hemingway's is as well. I've just never traded with them, so I can't really say. Uh, the castings that I bought, I bought from a gentleman named Bayer, B-A-I-R, out in Chicago. And his dad had apparently bought these from Model Engineering Services in the 1970s. And he was kind enough to include the operating instructions that came with it. As you can see, this is the Model Engineering Services logo. And um, it, it also came with some grinding wheels. So very thrilled about that. When, after I got the castings, I went through and kind of inventoried to see if I had everything I needed. And I'm very pleased that I do. Um, and if not, you know, if anything was missing, I could certainly get it from Gary at um, Martin Model and Pattern. So here's the castings. This is what they look like. There's a lot to be machined. This is probably, you know, three or four times more complicated than the pillar tool. Um, but again, there's the column castings and so forth, but I'm excited about getting to it. I'm not going to be in any rush and I will present stuff for you to take a look at as I as I can. So more, I've been contemplating this project for a long, long time. Excuse me. Maybe no surprise, certainly to my friends and anybody that knows me, but I kept a binder, a three ring binder. Anytime I see something about the corn, I would print it out and put it in here. And as one of the things that I showed, I just moved it out of the way. Home Shop Machinist had an article, a little, a series that started in November, December of 99 called the Very Much Improved Corn Tool and Cutter Grinder. And you can buy these magazines on eBay for, you know, sometimes, I've never seen them for more than $5 each. And sometimes you can buy a whole year for like 20 or 25 and if you get that chance and it's something you want to do, I would highly recommend it because the articles are great. One of the things that they talk about in here, I'll just mention this, that I may actually build, <clears throat> excuse me, is the, he's got an air bearing. Um, there we go. Air spindle, he calls it. But basically putting compressed air into the spindle. And I actually tried that idea on my mini tinker. I drilled and tapped for a pipe thread and tried grinding with compressed air and it's amazing how much, you know, the, the, best, the best way I can explain it is if you tried to play air hockey on a table that didn't have the air coming through the little holes compared to with the air coming through the little holes. I mean it makes all the difference in the world just that it, it's so much slipperier with the air and um, even though there's no no shake in this thing and it should it, it slides smooth 
but it's just no comparison. So I may actually try to build an air spindle for grinding. But keeping a binder is a very good idea in my opinion, especially if you pick something out and you say, I'm gonna build one of those someday. Start yourself a, a three ring binder. I mean, the worst thing, it's fun to do and worst thing you can do is end up not ever building it. But anyway, that's my, my two cents. And that's my project introduction. I hope it's been interesting and useful but to give you an idea of my next step, so as soon as I finish taping, I'm going to put my work apron on and clean up this mess. I've got the shop vac out here. I'm going to vacuum up all that stainless steel dust from machining the, the uh, table. You can see it's been a busy week at work. I haven't had time to come out to the shop. But I'm going to try. I don't have a large angle plate. So this is a piece. Uh, it was a... A piece that Russ gave me and I used a lot of this aluminum this is aluminum plate very thick it's like an inch and an eighth on the bottom and I think that's about a half inch or five eighths not five eighths five six nine sixteenths maybe the, the part that I'm holding here I'm gonna try to machine this down machine it flat and make a giant angle plate out of this that I can use to bolt the uh, corn castings too for uh, machining some of the holes in them. So that's going to be something I work on this weekend and then I will just keep you posted as I make progress. So that's today's update everybody. Thanks for watching. Welcome again to the new subscribers. Let me get a nice shot over here so I can get the corn pieces, the locomotive, and I'll just shine off here. Thanks again everybody.